Hey everybody, nice to see you today. Hey listen, The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz, that beautiful classic movie, The Wizard of Oz. Now, I'm slightly starting to warm up to classic movies and The Wizard of Oz happens to be one of my favorites. 1939 it came out, can you believe how long ago? Listen, one of the most classic lines in that movie that Dorothy said was, take a guess. You know it, yeah. There's no place like home, there's no place like home. And that's the honest truth, we all love our homes. We get home, take off our shoes, our dog comes up to us like we're rock stars. We know what leftovers are in the fridge. It's a comfortable place, it's a familiar place. You can wake up at night having to go to the bathroom and probably walk that straight line blindfolded. With your eyes closed, you probably do because it's familiar territory. Now real estate, selling real estate. Typically when you get your license, you sell where? In your home, in your hometown. Why? Because it's familiar. You're familiar with the territory. You know where the bowling alley is. You know where the best tacos are sold. You know where the best schools are. But can you sell property outside of a familiar zone? Can you sell property that's not in your hometown? Let's rock this. Now, what you do first is this, of course. You go ahead and sign up at the real estate board, the local real estate board. Keyword here is what? Local, your local real estate board, because that's where you're from. And by you joining the local real estate board, whether it be Beverly Hills, whether it be uh, San Francisco, wherever it may be, you're gonna join that local real estate board, which we already know, will make you a member of the National Association of Realtors and the California Association of Realtors. Stick with me, don't let me bore you, but this is important stuff. At the California Association of Realtors, you already know, that's where you get all of your contracts and all of your disclosures, not a big deal. Think of the umbrella, the local real estate board, under that umbrella, you'll have National Association of Realtors and the California Association of Realtors. Got it? Good. You're also gonna have to join the MLS because the MLS is where all the database of houses are. Your local database of houses. Keyword here again is local. Your local database of houses will all be in this database. And last but not least, you'll have to join the local lockbox company. In some places it's called Supra. In some places it's called the Carrots. Now the lockbox is important because that's where you're gonna keep the keys to the residences you'll be selling. The keys of the houses that you'll be listing will be placed in this lockbox and only other agents who are members of this lockbox company will have access to these keys to get into your listing. Are you with me? Nice and simple. That's gonna set you up beautifully. That's gonna set you up so good you're gonna be ready to rock the real estate world. Join the local real estate board. Join the MLS. Join the local lockbox company. Boom, you're done, you got all your tools. What you wanna start doing then is what? I want you to start canvassing that area. Canvas, canvas, canvas. Also known as farm. Now I know you're not gonna go get a shovel and a hoe and start digging some dirt. Farming is you planting your seeds in these neighborhoods. We have a great vlog on that. Check out the vlog on farming. Now you're on your way. You got the tools, you got the activity going with farming, and you start getting your local listings. Again, from that region, let me remind you, Local real estate board, local MLS, local lockbox company. All for what? The local area, your hometown. There's no place like home. And then one day you get a call. You get a call from your cousin, your cousin Vinny. Now cousin Vinny lives up in San Francisco. And you do your work here in Los Angeles. Your hometown is Los Angeles. And your cousin Vinny, who's 400 miles away up in San Francisco, enjoying that beautiful bay, says, hey cousin, down in LA, my beautiful LA cousin, why don't you come up here to San Francisco and sell my property? I got a great listing for you. Now you think about it, Ted, am I allowed to do that? Hmm. That's a beautiful listing, it's by the water. San Francisco property nowadays, are you kidding me? They're skyrocketing. So it's a $5 million listing, $5 million listing at two and a half percent commission on one side, on the listing side, you do the math. Do the math on that. I'll wait for you. Yeah, it's over $100,000 on commission. Whoa, 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 talking big bucks. Now you got a problem. Are you allowed to take that listing that's outside of your region? It's not your hometown. You can't wake up in the middle of the night and walk to the bathroom with your eyes closed anymore. It's unfamiliar territory. What do you do? Well, you have two options. What you can do is this, nice and simple. You could take the listing. Unfamiliar territory. It might be uncomfortable, it might be challenging. You might have to turn on the light to get to the bathroom. Now this is the challenge, you ready? Number one, you no longer have access to that local real estate board because you signed up for the Los Angeles one. You no longer have access to that local MLS because you signed up, that's number two, to a local MLS board. And last but not least, you don't have access to that local lockbox company because again, the one you signed up for is here locally 
in Los Angeles. Now you're running a business. You gotta make a business decision. Are you willing to go up to San Francisco and join their local real estate board, their local MLS to promote your listing up there? To promote it like crazy, to have it included in that database of homes up there. Are you willing to join the local log box company up there? So that realtors who are working up in that area up in Northern California have access to your listing. Five million dollar listing, think about that. It's a beautiful thing. So the question is this, are you allowed legally to take a listing outside of your hometown? Are you able to legally take a listing outside of your region? And the answer to that is, absolutely. As Rocky would say, absolutely. Sure you can. That's a great opportunity. The only challenge would be that you'd have to join the local board, the local real estate board, the local MLS, and the local, of course, lockbox company. Now that might cost you a few thousand dollars. Might cost you a few thousand dollars. But when you think about the investment, a $3,000 investment to retrieve over $100,000 in commission, it might be worth it. Particularly if the economy is pumping. Particularly if the real estate world is rocking like it is today in 2021. The house will sell itself. The minute you put this house on the MLS up there in San Francisco on the local MLS board, you're good as gold, you're good as sold. The house will sell itself in this particular real estate market. The real estate market today is hot. Now let's assume the real estate market isn't hot. And you'll have to be up there to sell that property. The property won't sell itself. You'll have to push it. You'll have to advertise. You'll have to speak to local real estate agents where this listing is located. Are you willing to fly up there on a whim if somebody wants to see the property? So all these are factors you must consider. Bottom line is this. Are you allowed to sell property outside of your hometown? The answer is absolutely. The other option would be this. You don't take it. You don't take it. You see, I'm not willing to work outside of my comfort zone. I want to stay in my hometown. So don't pass up this opportunity. What you could do is this. You could refer this listing to a local agent up in San Francisco. Don't let it get away. Somehow, some way, get a piece of the pie. And all you would have to do is this. You would tell your cousin or your friend, whomever it is that contacted you from the other area, is that you're going to do some research for them. You're going to work for them by finding them a great local realtor up in their area. You're going to pass it off to a qualified, professional, experienced realtor and refer it out to them. And once they close the deal, because it is a referral agreement, they'll give you a piece of the pie. And that piece of the pie is typically 25%, do the math, 25% of 100,000 bucks. Yeah, I'll wait for you. Yeah, well, I'm pretty good at math. It's 25,000 bucks. And all you did was refer it. Nice and simple. So, you could either take the listing or not, but give it as a referral to a local agent up in that area. Makes sense? It's a beautiful world in real estate. You have options. You have the ability to make commissions. You have the ability to help people and not feel so bad about it. Feel good that you were part of something special. Somebody called you, asked for help, and you said, yep, I'll help you one way or the other. Either I'll take the listing or I'll find you somebody who's gonna close the deal for you. Hope this helps you out. Bottom line is this, there's no place like home. But sometimes when you travel uncharted territory, it's exciting, it's challenging. And you might wanna consider doing it. Hey, as a reminder, the first week of every month we have free classes. The link is down below. Sign up, take a look at the website, you're gonna enjoy it, I guarantee it. Hope to see you next week, stay safe.